Good evening. Welcome to Wednesday Night Flock Songs. This week uh, I'm going to share an old Christmas carol with you. It's called God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. It goes something like this. <laughs> the 16th century, an old Christmas carol, and according to the Oxford English Dictionary, the phrase, God rest ye merry, which I did not know until today, means may God grant you peace and happiness. So the song essentially would start off as may God grant you peace and happiness, remembering on this day, Christ our Savior, who was born uh, for this reason, that to come and save the world and to save us from Satan's power. Uh, Jesus said in John 12, 31, that Satan, the devil himself, is the ruler of this world. So uh, the Old Testament, you know, is all about pointing to this need of a Savior and the, and the people of Israel, the Old Testament people waiting for the birth of the Savior. So when that time had come and the word went out that the Savior was to be born in Bethlehem, which had all been prophesied right up until this, to the city he was going to be born in, you know, this is where uh, death was won. This is where power over Satan was won. We had no power. Human beings had no power over Satan until this day. And that's why it is such a glorious day and it's such a day of celebration. So we, we never want to forget during this month the festivities and the parties and the Christmas shopping and everything that we're doing. As Christians, you know, we never want to forget that the celebration comes from this birth that so many people over so many decades and years hundreds of years, thousands of years, we're waiting for Christ to be born so that we might have power over Satan. So, um, you know, and bringing good tidings, the word tidings really just means news. And so we know that the gospels, 
the message of Christ was called the good news. So these tidings of comfort and joy, it really just means that the good news of comfort and joy has come to us on this Christmas day. So as we go about celebrating our Christmas and getting ready for Christmas day, I hope you all are blessed and I hope all of you keep your focus on our God, Jesus Christ and what he did for us and the reason uh, that we celebrate this season. So uh, God bless you all this evening. I will be speaking this Sunday morning at 1030 about miracles, my part two uh, in miracles. And I'm going to be talking about um, uh, when Peter in the Garden of Gethsemane, when Jesus was arrested, Peter cut the ear off of one of the high priest soldiers. His name was Malchus and uh, Jesus healed his ear. And that was the last miracle that he performed before he was arrested and nailed to the cross. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that on Sunday. And I hope to see you then. God bless you all. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.